is who a plum plum planning to be can can canning while the news report is thick and thinning so nobody but a slum slum slumber when a num num number has begun he'll dumb in getting dumber what's the news across the nation we have got the information in a way For the laugh in news with Howard Hughes unavailable, Raquel Welch unbelievable, Jimmy Hoffa unpardonable, and Internal Revenue unavoidable. And now here's um, uh, Dick Martin with the present news. Today, the great Zambini, world famous sword, sword swallower. Yes, he swallows swords. That's what he does. That's why they call him a sword swallower. Yes. Uh, he was given an honorary medical degree for sneezing while swallowing a three foot sword and successfully removing his gallbladder. Pendants, three toes, and a partridge in a pen. <laughs> and now, for news of the future, here's Dane. Dan. Dan. Yes, thank you. News of the Future, July 4th, 1976. The highlight of the bicentennial celebration of the Declaration of Independence took place today when the Liberty Bell was rung by Oral Roberts. The crack immediately healed. Here we are in Denmark, speaking to the world-famous doctor who originated the sex change operation. Tell me, doctor, would you personally consider changing your own sex? Not on your life. Back to you, Dick and Dale. And now, for Kid News for Kids, we take you to Moosey Dryer in a treehouse somewhere in Burbank. Moosey here with Kid News for Kids. Butchie Mouth is no fun anymore. He has a crush on Phyllis Nelson. And he says it's love. And I say it's only infatuation. <laughs> and now to Moscow for an interview with a Russian worker. Sir. I understand that you work in the Kremlin. Now tell me, how are the working conditions? It's dangerous. Secret police work it everywhere. Oh, that's terrible. Not only that, but everybody is informing in England each other. Oh, that's awful. Mm -hmm. What's even worse? The porch in the cafeteria is louse. Well, then why don't you complain to the premier? Complain to the premier? Mm -hmm. I am the premier. News of the future 20 years from now. The aging cast of Laugh-In met tonight to celebrate its 1,000th show at NBC Sun City. The program opened as Dan Rowan and Dick Martin introduced their guest, John Wayne, who spent the rest of the hour trying to get on his horse. <laughs> and that's the way it is, Valentine's Day, October 3rd, 1903.